Well, hello and welcome to Monaco as we uh, get uh, build up to our classes coming, but also we're going to get a little delve into the lifestyle of what Monaco is like. And who better to do it with than two lovely ladies, one for the first time here in Paris Salon from the USA, and a lady who lives here in Monaco in Edwina Tops Alexander. Lovely to see both of you here in the sunshine. And Edwina, to so come to you first. This is your local show. You're obviously not riding though, are you? <laughs> Unfortunately not this year. Um, but no, it's a beautiful show. The show has been um, in the tour from the beginning. And the location is unique, right on the sea. You've got mountains behind us, fantastic weather. And um, it reminds me a lot of Sydney. Yeah. Um, and you know, the, the, to have the show here by the boats here and the restaurants down the side there and there's great atmosphere, it's cozy and it's just a great feeling to be here. Well, Paris, for you, this is slightly different. You grew up in California. This is a very different style. Uh, a bit. I grew up in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. but uh, the weather is about the same. And this is my first time in Monaco. And uh, what better place to be than right on the water for a horse show? And first time here, what have you made of it so far? Um, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, like I said, I've never been here before. And the ring is a little bit small mm -hmm. and something to adjust to. But um, these shows are the best in the world, and I'm just excited to be here. Well, as a resident, Edwina, for first time for Paris, what, what should she, outside of the horses, what should she be seeing, doing in Monaco? I don't know if I should tell her that. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, you know, there's a lot of, lot of fantastic restaurants. There's great beaches here, of course, shopping. Um, and, um, you know, it's... Um, there's lots of, you know, on the you can see the old um, part of Monaco there and there's, a, there's a, an aquarium up the top there and... Yeah, there's lots of nice things to do. You can pretty much walk the whole of Monaco in half a day. You know, it's a small city um, and it's beautiful and there's lots of hills and lots of nice places to go running and um, great, great venues and hotels here. So there's, there's a lot to do in a small area. Absolutely. So Paris, there you go. That gets you started. Have you been, had a chance to see much of Monaco yet? Uh, no, not yet. I arrived last night. So hopefully after the class tonight, I'll be able to go to a couple of restaurants and walk around and see what's happening around here. Sample a bit of Monte Carlo with, mm -hmm. with its wonderful reputation. Now, Paris, from your point of view, first time here, as you say, you, you grew up in California, your family very much involved in the TV and film industry. What's, what's this like changing over to this side of the world compared to growing up in that? Um, well, obviously, Americans and Europeans are very different from one another, but it's a lifestyle that I've sort of adjusted to, and um, it really isn't so different than living in California once we kind of um, adjust to being over here. So uh, I'm really enjoying it. Quite used to the sunshine. Now, yes, exactly. for you, an early good start to the class. Sorry? Your first class, all things going to plan. Yes, yes, uh, horses ready and schooled for tomorrow and uh, jump the big class and see how it goes. Now Edwina, you've obviously competed in this arena quite a few times. Uh, going back to the likes of Richard Spooner who's won here three times. What is it like to compete in there and what is the special attribute you think you need to win in this arena? Um, you know, although it's narrow, it's quite long, the ring. And um, I mean the turns, you have to be, you know, you've got to have good control of your horse and the jumps come up a little quicker than, than um, say for example in Hamburg or in Shanti, but I think it adds a lot of, you know, different qualities to the to all the, the, the tour. Um, and I think that's what makes a champion at the end. You know, you've got to be good in all different, you know, circumstances. And um, fortunately, we've got the best facilities on, on the tour with um, great ground and great course building. And, um, you know, the horses are very well taken care of and, and looked after well. So, um, you know, it's it's you've got to have a lot of control and you've got to know your horse really well. And, and but like I said, a, a good combination is good everywhere. Absolutely. Well, you should know you're two time champion as well through and gone close a few times aside from that. Now, we're looking forward to seeing you back in the saddle late, whenever that is. <laughs> Not telling you. <laughs> Not telling us. We'll wait for that one. Paris, from your point of view, now you're getting, you've just graduated, you're, you're um, getting to travel a few of the events now. Yes, yes, I'm finally done with school. It was a bit of a long process for me, but now that I've graduated, I'm focusing on the riding and I'm really excited and uh, it's going really well. So I'm looking forward to the future here. And what did you graduate in? I majored in sport management and uh, physiology. Okay, so the full makeup of how it works and how the events put together. Something like that. Something yeah. like that. <laughs> Perfect. We'll get you to explain a little bit later on. Now, going to all of these venues we've mentioned, I mean, somewhere like Monte Carlo, amazing things to see. 
do you get chance to see some of the, the stunning locations? Do you try and put a little bit of time in to, to mix into your sporting? Group? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously the horses come first and sometimes the schedules in the morning and, and in the evening don't allow me to um, explore the city, but I try and set aside some time, especially if I've never been to the city before to it, walk around and see what's happening. I mean, this is once in a lifetime opportunity, so. Well, a, a little walk around here. Where else are you looking forward to seeing during the season? Um, I'm really looking forward to Rome and um, hopefully Berlin. I don't really know my schedule yet, but I'm hoping Berlin will be uh, on my on my list because that's new this year. Well, there's plenty to see and do around there. I mean, you, you're, you're in your early 20s. How has that changed your worldview attending events like this? Um, it definitely requires some sense of maturity to be, and obviously discipline to be able to uh, come to these shows day in and day out and compete against the best. It's extremely competitive and sometimes it can be um, a little bit discouraging if you feel like things aren't going your way, um, but this is how you learn and this is how you become the best, so I'm uh, trying to take advantage of every opportunity I have here. Absolutely, we'll take advantage of those. For you, Edwina, you've, you've, you're training here as well. What, what advice do you give to Monaco compared to competing in somewhere like Valkenslag? How does the training change? Does it change much in terms of advice? Um, no, not really. I mean, I think, like I said, you know, you've got to have your horse really well schooled um, because, you know, like I said, you know, your horse has got to be very good in all circumstances. And um, I guess it depends. Maybe some horses are better in smaller rings than bigger rings. Um, but no, the training has stayed the same um, with Jesse and I'm sure she's going to do some good rounds today. She already was third in the last class, so she's in good shape. She's in good shape. And for you, Paris, part of Miami Glory team who are in good shape as well. We've got uh, Dennis Lynch and Scott Brash again here, but most of the team here this week. Yeah, we've been doing really well. I've um, In Mexico City, I competed for the team. We finished fourth. It was uh, We did really well there. And Dennis and Scott are obviously a amazing combination and so I wish them the best of luck tonight. Um, I'll be watching and on standby for tomorrow just in case um, but it's nice to have all of us here and yeah. And how was it competing alongside the likes of Scott in Mexico? Um, it's indescribable. I never really thought that I would be able to say that I was on a team with uh, Scott Brash. It was pretty cool standing up at the in gate with him and watching him go and sort of pretending that I was, you know, on his team for the day. And I learn something new every day, and it's really exciting. It's a, an opportunity that I wouldn't have if I did, wasn't able to jump the team here. But that's the that's the, the beauty of it, giving that feeling. Exactly, exactly. And it gives riders like me under 25 or maybe a little bit inexperienced to jump with these riders and learn and that's what makes this so different than the rest of the, of the other horse shows. Well, uh, I hope it all goes well this week. Good luck to you. Good luck to Thank Miami you. Glory. Edwina, enjoy the week. I know you'll be back in your training boots and then back up to home. It's nice and easy for you here, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. Wonderful to be here in uh, Monte Carlo. Well, thank you both of you. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.